Hey guys, thanks for checking out our latest video and this time is a new concept for us. We try to do an end to end of an entire project, starting from getting the keys right through to completing it. I'm delighted to say the project is now finished. It was a pretty simple one for us, converting a two bed mid terraced house into a four bed mini HMO for a client of ours. Now you might think looking at the initial video that the property actually wasn't in that bad condition when we started but we still went to town on it pretty much taking it back to brick and the reason that we did that is because we do this on all of our projects we're investing for the long term we want to make sure that once a project of ours is complete we don't need to do any serious work for a long time so everything gets replaced on all of our projects so it starts off okay gets a lot worse and then by the end hopefully you'll agree that it's a pretty nice home for four young professional tenants to move into The first step on any project is stripping out and that's what I'm here for today, getting my hands dirty, which is actually quite unusual these days, but one of the guys is snowed in so I thought I'd come down here and give a hand. And this one's going to be a pretty easy day for us, getting out all the carpets, there's a little bit of wallpaper to come off and a few non-structural walls. So let's get started and see where we end up. Okay, that's ended day one and we actually got quite a lot done, although there were two walls that I thought would come down pretty easily that transpires aren't going to, so I'm gonna leave them for the builder when he starts the extension, he can give us some advice on that. But I'll give you a quick tour now and let you see what we have got up to. The house is pretty much clear, except for this front room. Today is the day that the beast from the east arrived in Manchester. So our skip company couldn't make it out, but all the carpets are up. Kitchen's out, bathroom's out. You can see there's no wallpaper on the walls, which was great, that's gonna save us a lot of time, but also a lot of expense in having to re-skim the whole house. This was the kitchen. Might try to reuse that cooker and hob because they were brand new. This was the bathroom. All done. Except for this floor, which is glued down pretty solidly. So, I'm not going to worry about that. And then upstairs, again, carpets out, radiators are off. So, as you know, this will be the bathroom. First bedroom upstairs. Second bedroom upstairs. And this will be our utility cupboard slash storage cupboard, but for the moment, is our site toilet. So I'll be back later in the week when our joiner starts and then hopefully shortly after that our builder will be starting on the extension but it's a little bit cold for that just now so maybe another week or so before he actually gets on site. The snow is back in Manchester but it's cleared enough to get a skip out so this front room is clear and our electricians have started on site today as well. stud work we have had our electricians in doing their first fix this week and the builders have been digging the foundations in the back the concrete for them is getting poured this afternoon and that should start to go up as of next week as well as them being here next week we've got the plumbers in doing their first fix and then we should be starting plaster in a week or two after that so everything is moving in the right direction pretty quickly Just a 
quick visit today to check how everything's progressing. The kitchen's just been delivered, so I thought I'd pop in, make sure everything is here for that. But the tiler's also in getting the bathrooms done. The shower trays are in for the bathrooms and the plastering's drying out pretty nicely as well. So again, we'll take another quick look around. So we're now on, I think, week eight or nine of this project, and I've not been the best at getting filming done here. Um, we've been pretty busy. It slips my mind. Going at the camera isn't always top of my priority list, but we we'll just go back from holiday, come down here, now to have a look, and the progress is fantastic. As you can see, the decorators are in and making good progress. They should be finished by the middle of next week. Then we've got flooring to go in the end of next week and furniture at the start of the week after that. So it's now on the market. It'll be interesting to see what the response is like from that. And yeah, just the finishing touches to get done. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching the process end to end as much as I have sitting here looking back at it. It's great to see this project in this way. It's not something we do very often, but I'd like to do it more in the future. Anyway, before we show you the final shots of the house, I just want to mention that we've also written an article about this project covering everything that went right as well as everything that went wrong. So head over to our website and check that out or the link will be below this video most likely as well. Thankfully, I'm delighted to say the house is now fully occupied, which is a great result for us. Before we get to the final shots, please remember to like this video, share it if you want, and check out the final results now. I'm sure you'll agree that it's been a fantastic project and the results are superb. <laughs>